What's up, guys? This is the San Antonio vlog. We got the what goon up? Dan, we got Jimmy, and then we got to go pick up the other goon, Joseph. Uh, Jimmy, how you feeling about? How you feeling about this week? Excited, nervous. First time regional. First time regional. Ooh, regional spice time. Dan, how about you? What are you feeling like? Listen, I'm ready. I've been waiting to get up in San Antonio. It's the first time I've ever been there, so it's gonna be. One time experience in that Wait, you've never been to San Antonio? Oh man, I was like, this man doesn't know yet. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully we'll catch you when we're on the road next Registered, then we're gonna find some food. Oh, we gotta yeah. find gas at some point because uh, your boy's on E. We don't need gas. We're, uh, gonna, we're gonna run everywhere. Yeah, you you have fun with that, New uh, York I'm boy. I'm wearing flip flops right now, so that's part of the yeah, thing uh, too. But. What are those? What are those? But we'll be back uh, when we find out where we're gonna eat and we check in. So stay tuned. And the man. Oh, we're already here. 312. That was easy. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Hotel room tour. I call the couch. Let's go. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We got lights in here. Lights, lights. Lights. Whoa, this is very interesting that the sink is outside of the bathroom. Whoa, well, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Nice, not bad, not bad. Let's look at the view. Good morning, guys. What's up? This is it is currently 6:30. Not nearly as early uh, as we had to wake up for the last local or regional, but. Uh, it works out better because we're actually here in San Antonio instead of having to drive in. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Abilene to San Antonio is about a uh, four-ish hour drive, so we would have probably had to wake up pretty pretty early and kind of leave very early to drive in, so really glad that we were able to drive in the night before. Uh, got some testing done, uh, went and ate some good food. Sauce Daddy's in San Antonio, if you're ever here, go try out that place, it was really delicious. Uh, you'll see in the video. Some pretty good, yeah. Joseph, how how was the sleep? The sleep was nice. The sleep was nice. The sleep was nice. 
For sure, for sure. We got uh, some slackers over here. Right here, the boy typing out his deck list the morning before. That's fine. At least he's not stressed out writing it, so that's always nice. Dan, Hello. how about you? How was the sleep? The sleep was fine. Got about three hours or so. <laughs> getting ready to yes, you know, sir. making the hair look good look good you feel good that's the way that goes so. yeah, for sure for sure that's the plan all right dan how, how you how you feeling about the tournament you ready i think i'm ready i think i'm i'm not gonna overthink my deck list i think what i was working on before was just fine and i think that everything is gonna be good that's the way i'm looking at it so i'm gonna type out my deck list in a few minutes and then be ready to roll for sure, for sure. Yeah, we did uh, some last minute testing last night, changed a couple of tech choices, uh, moved around some things in the uh, main and side deck that uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get to see today. Hopefully it'll come up. Uh, again, a lot of my stuff was mainly based around uh, seeing the flu. That's the only deck that I'm really uh, worried about. Uh, I just hate playing the flu matchup. I think it's overall just unfun and it's just stressful. I feel like... Uh, it's solely uh, dependent on what the flu player actually draws. It's not dependent on anything that I do. I feel like I could play as correctly as possible and they could just uh, de-shifter me or they could just draw like little bird plus map and it doesn't matter or advent of adventure because they needed more support for whatever reason. Uh, but we're about to head out, probably grab some breakfast. So maybe you'll see some footage of that. And then hopefully next time you see us, we'll be at the venue. Regional experience. Ah, uh, you can't drop in your first regional. <laughs> True. Alright, we'll see you. We'll see you at the venue. What's up, guys? We made it to the event. We kind of got freaked out a little bit. They said there was only 40 spots, and we. Uh, we got freaked out because they stopped us. We're literally next in line to go in, but they said that there was only 15 ahead of us, or sorry, 20 something ahead of us. So there'll be 15 spots after us. So we did make it. So we are not 15 Let's go. Yay! We did it. We made it. So that means we do get to play, and hopefully, uh, hopefully that bodes well for the rest of the day. But we'll catch you back after we've registered and kind of hanging out, talk, meet, meet some of the people, see some buddies, and we'll see you when we're inside. What's up guys, we made it in the venue, we got our packs, I pulled uh, the Vista Starfrost, uh, this man pulled nothing out of his packs because I paid his entry fee, uh, Dan, did you pull anything spectacular? The, the, uh, the ultra rare Liebermaster Trap, which I have no idea what it does because I have zero desire to play that deck. So. Hey yo, there you go. leave that deck alone. <laughs> did you mean to pull anything spicy? No, not really. Then we found the Demon A and Demon B. What's up man? I pulled uh, like three ultras and they were all three pretty decent, so. Just getting some trading in, just hanging out, getting ready for the tournament, pretty excited. I hope I don't play any of my friends, because that'd be really annoying. I traveled four hours to play people I could travel an hour to play, so. I don't want to play you, Cam. I know what you're playing, I don't want to play you. Bunga bunga indeed, but uh, hopefully we'll have some uh, more news after round one, and yeah, we'll see you after. You need to get back in there, and you need to top this event. I do need to Stay tuned for more live action news coverage from that's, Jordan. That's my job. Yeah, that's oh, my bad. <laughs> Stay tuned to see if he finds his gladiator beast. Which one? Uh, best ER. Best ER. One day. Stay tuned. We will. One day. We'll find it. We'll find it one day. Alright, so for the record, uh, we kind of caught the end of that, but it's at capacity, so 
We got in though, that's all that matters. Doesn't matter. We got in. Let's go, baby. Let's go. But yeah, it's at capacity, so we're gonna have to move on. Thank you, man. I appreciate it as always. Today, I'll let you know that. We got, oh, yeah, we got okay. today. I just flipped purple car. Right, what's up, guys? We're here after round one. Uh, Jimmy, what happened to you? Let me just say, Ash is a card. Ash is a card. <laughs> Ash is a card. <laughs> nice. Joseph, what about you? I took the L. My deck just said nah. Oh, no, did did well in the play know. test against Jimmy, and then was what, like what nah. You, what were you playing? Or what did you play against? I played against VW, man. What did you play against? Liberal Masters, which I had no idea yes, what he was. Sir, yes. Representation. <laughs> Dan, what happened to you, my dude? Uh, not my brightest moment. I uh, I lost to a deck that was really good back in 2015, which, if I remember correctly, was Shadal, Satellar Knight, uh, freaking Zephra. And. Vaguska threw me off the game, game one, after losing the die roll, and then freaking, uh, he had the call by for Buster. So, oh, man. there you go. That's crazy. There's that. <laughs> you gonna do me or no? It's, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> I'm the only one that actually won that round. Jordan, how did you do in round one? Uh, bro, it was, it was free, but it was scary. So game one, <laughs> so we actually had to move tables because they, they had us at the handicap tables at first, so we had to move tables, but we had rolled dice there, and he, he won the die roll and made me made me go first. I was like, okay, fine. So we moved tables. We were like, ah, you know, we'll shuffle. We don't know what we're playing. We'll just re-roll again. I won the die roll, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go first. And it, I mean, it didn't matter because he wanted to go second anyways. So I, you know, I set up my board. I set up, uh, I think, Trouble Sunny with like Baylor Crow in hand. Not really like a, an amazing board by any means. So he goes, all right, uh, normal summon, uh, Albaz effects. And I was like, ah, shit. So I chained to summon out the twins, neither of them get their effects because they have fusion on resolution or whatever. So he summons out Mirror Jade, and then he activates Fusion Destiny, and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm really screwed. And so he does that, he breaks my board, he attacks over both my twins, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, this is gonna really suck. But I had, I had pink, and then I had blue extender in hand already, so I knew I was fine. And so I went to, you know, I drew for turn, I activated Trouble Sunny's effect to banish itself to sin, and because he only had DPE and Mirror Jade and nothing else, he couldn't activate DPE, so he had to lose his DPE, and then I normal summon, uh, he activated the effect to banish, he banished the wrong one, so I had the extender in hand, and I just summoned the extender, and uh, made my twin plays, made trouble sunny, and then I said, uh, still main phase, triple tactics talent, give me that mirror jade, and I pushed for game. Game two, he made me go first, which I, I goofed, I decided to go second, and I knew he was gonna make me go first, just a stupid misplay, uh, but it was fine, I just kept control the whole game, he put Mystic Mine on the board, I kind of like sat there and was like, all right, dude, I know I have Harpies in my deck, so if you just want to accrue resources, that's fine with me. He just couldn't draw the resources. I finally was able to out the Mystic Mine, and then he nibbed me, and then we just kind of sat there and looked at each other, and then I finally just gained a hold of the resource game, and uh, I basically had game next turn, and he just drew his top deck nib. He was in a top deck war. I still had like four cards, so I was like, ah, this is free. So it was pretty easy. It was scary, though. Game two was really scary. I thought I was going to draw, because I can't freaking see the timer. But other than that, it was pretty good. Uh, really fortunate to have won that one. I was kind of scared when he showed up with the 60 card list, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, it was going, uh, it was going second based Despia. That's what he was playing. So it was really weird. Yeah, it was really weird. Just set up Masquerade and DPE, like just good stuff. And I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. But it was pretty good. I mean, you know, again, I feel like I played well. I just have to, you know, just beat the person in front of me uh, at every round, and I think I can talk. So, yeah, that was it for me. What's up, guys? We're here after round three. Uh, we didn't get our round two, uh, our round two recap because I was kind of uh, pretty pissed off, and also uh, we just didn't really have a lot of time. Uh, so, quick recap, real quick. 
uh, round two, I played against a dry tron player and I set up a decent board, but I didn't have any hand traps, so obviously he did dry tron things. And so uh, going into game two, I was like, oh, I'm playing dry tron. Like I'll side out the harpies. There's no need to put twin twister in the deck. Like we're chilling, right? He's a, he's a nice, you know, humane combo player. And uh, I set up a board again and he tries to droplets me and I chain cross out declaring droplets because that's my signature move. And he goes, Dane, that's crazy. Uh, activate terraforming. Search Mystic Mine. Activate Mystic Mine. And then he proceeds, hey, how many cards do you have in deck? Said, you know, I gave him the number. And he said, do you have an out? I said, maybe. So I wasted his time. But I lost. So, but that just means that he's the worst player. He had to activate Mystic Mine to win. So it doesn't matter. Uh, round three actually was super insane. So didn't know what he was playing. Go game one. Uh, he normal summons Ecclesia, activates the effect, searches Fleur. I was like, okay, whatever. And he's like, uh, my hand was bad. Set three pass. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, so I set up my thing, you know, break his board, OTK him, whatever. He couldn't, he didn't really have a playable hand. He goes first, he goes, stand by main, activate secret password, and I lost it. I was so happy to play another twin player. And that was such a cool, interest, interesting, like, match. Because it was scary because we could cross out each other's cards. Like at any point and we knew like exactly where to hit so it was crazy uh but i ended up taking it uh so better twin player you heard it here first he was playing twin dogmatica i was playing pure twin uh so yeah for sure what about you guys where are we at where are we at oh yeah uh i'm one two played against pk round two uh i cleared his board game three but he just had enough resources in grave to just come back and kill me off the crack back uh round three played against despia Brandon Despia, shit all over his face. Uh, it just goes to show that Despia's a pretty bad deck. See, they, they lost the Spirit Charmers, man. They lost the Spirit I, I went into Dark, took his Dragoon from the graveyard. What, he made Dragoon? Yeah, he made Dragoon. Uh, I was able to out it, and then I brought it back to my field just to link it away into Selene. Go access code, activate Magicalize. You're insane, bro. Dan, what about right, you, bro? So, round two, uh, I took down Flunder in three games. God bless. I used, Draco, I used Draco back to bounce the Mystic Mine that he hit me with, which was a great feeling. And I got shiftered in games one and two and still won, which was an amazing feeling once again. Let's go. Um, then all of that good feeling went away in round three because I was playing against Thunk, uh, Punk Therion. And uh, he helped me kind of nuts in game one. And then in game two, I am not exaggerating, I got ashed twice, crowed, and gammed all in the same game. And I was just like, what am I supposed to do at that point? Like I was literally scrapping, like I had Regulus in my hand that I couldn't summon him because I had no machines in Grave because the one target got banished. We're jaywalking right now. It's crazy. But, but yeah, so I'm sitting at one two right now, so I got some work to do. So yeah. I'm two, I'm two one for the record. Jimmy, uh, how does it feel playing the worst deck in the room? Shut up, man. <laughs> uh, I'm 2-1 right now, round two. I played against Sword Soul. Shout outs to Burke because he's the only player that actually knows how to play that deck. Oh, God. Um, uh, round, game one of Sword Soul. Basically, I ended on basic board, Mirror Jade, Masquerade, uh, set Droplet, set Brandon in red. Uh, basically, just let him burn himself. And then I had Brandon in red for Guardian Chimera, pop, swung for game. Game two, uh, pretty much just bricked and let him have it. Game three, uh, I just opened up insane, same thing. And then the, uh, round three, I don't even know what the hell I was playing. Um, it was pretty much just a free game. I hate putting it that way, but um, he pretty much just, uh, he set he set one card face down in defense position, set a goes and match. I saw, I, uh, during draw phase, which thank you for uh, what you taught me the other day. During draw phase, I went brand opening, pitch tragedy. Chainlink 1, Alibur, Chainlink 2, Tragedy, and then he said on Revolution, says, goes and match, you're locked in the dark, so I said, cool. Uh, Summon Mirror Jade, went into uh, Guardian Chimera, popped all the shit, and yeah, it was pretty much done from there. So, it's going good. Nice, good shit, good shit. I want to say that I am siding Mystic Mine. I sided him. Do you want to try, do you want to? That's fine. Do you want to try, uh, what did you call it, Jobly? Jobly? <laughs> yeah, he called it Jobly. Shut the Joseph, we're bringing that up. <laughs> I've never been there. Before. Yeah, I've never been. Let's let's go. Let's go. This will be interesting. Yeah, I, I sided in Mystic Mine twice today in and didn't right. even play Watch it. The whole I, searched, 
I sent it off of souls to draw cards. Let's go. That's, That's the cool. only only good thing about Mystic Mind. It's the only reason you need to play Mystic Mind. Friends don't let friends play Mystic Mind. No, they do not. We'll be back. Baby, we played a uh, we played flu, and uh, mistaken arrest is a card. Uh, basically, he uh, I drilled him on his extra. He, he activated map, passed. Uh, go to my turn. Activate sunny snitch to search my blue. I had the pinky center in hand, of course. And uh, I go anything on res. He said no. Nope. Chain mistaken arrest. He's like, what's that card do? He said, you know what else can add cards from our deck to our hand, except by drawing. And I literally saw this man slump in his chair, and. So I popped it. his map, I did all that stuff, goes to his turn, he sets a little bird face down, passes, I OTK him, it was free. I really thought, I was really scared, but uh, that, guy, that game gave me some confidence because I, I tailored my side deck specifically for flu because that's my hardest matchup, and I'm really glad that the Mistaken Arrest draw combo really put in work for me, which is super dope. Well, we skipped a couple of rounds, so how were the other rounds for you? Uh, I haven't recorded since I think round two. No, it was round three. Did we run out of what did I play? So what did you play round four? I lost to agents at some point. Yeah, sorry Nick, my bad. I can't draw as good against uh, them as I do against you, unfortunately. Uh, so. even, af even after all that play testing for Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, so round five, I think. Yeah, round five, I played against uh, Punk Adventure, and that deck's crazy. Uh, oh, round seven's posted, so we're gonna have to go. We'll catch back up later. Alright, uh, I'm gonna you do your thing. Uh, What's up guys, we're here post-tournament, uh, post-food. Food was very necessary. First of all, really hated the San Antonio Regional. Uh, there was no back support on the chairs, it was literally lunchroom Yu-Gi-Oh! And my back, my back hurts a lot. Uh, not as much as my deck's back hurts from carrying me, but it's whatever. Uh, so I'll let you know right now, I didn't top. I got 45th. Uh, I was X2 going in the last round. And I had last round in the bag, and I got nervous, and I didn't know the matchup super well, and I hadn't played against it in a long time, so I couldn't remember if they had cards that burned me or not. And we had 50 seconds left, and we started game three, and so I had all going second cards in, so, and I just said first, just I was like maybe I can play, and then I just drew all going second. I drew I think it's two infirm and evenly a crow and a, a regeki, and I was like well. It is what it is, and then so I just kind of set. He went. He was able to summon Mech Knights and punch me for game. Uh, right as time ran out, so it was fine. Uh, I feel like I played pretty well. Again, I only made that one mistake really in the last round that kind of screwed me. But uh, ended five and three. Deck performed exceptionally well. Uh, more pilot than anything else, and then losing to the Mystic Mind Turbo. It is what it is, but. Uh, my tournament experience was really well. I feel like I played really well. Played against a lot of interesting matchups. Uh, got to make mo uh, flu players mauled. Uh, mistaken arrest is in fact a card. Uh, I resolved it four times against two different flu underies players, and they, I, I activated it. They're like, "What's that card do?" I said, "Yeah, we can't add anything to hand except by drawing." And they, they visibly slumped in their chairs, and uh, proceeded to pass. And then I just OTK'd. So that's nice. That was my tournament experience overall. Uh, San Antonio Regional, get better chairs, for the love of God, please. But other than that, Joseph, how'd you do? Fucking horrible. But with the deck that I took, I expected nothing less. <laughs> However, 
I did beat Despia. That's all I care about. Despia's bad. Despia's Despia, what did, what did you play? For I played who... Spirit Charmers. Oh, Despia's actually bad. <laughs> the only real deck that I played against was Despia, and I fucking shit all over it. And then, uh, I could have won against Flu, but game one, he activated Myst straight into Mystic Mind, so I couldn't do anything. And then he activated Rabina and just searched straight for the Storm Barrier. Normal summoned it and then activated map, and so I couldn't do anything about it. And then game two, after after game one like that, it just made me maul so much that I misplayed game two. It was so free, and I just yes, sir. We love we love malding out here. We love malding. <laughs> Jimmy, just, Jimmy, how'd you how'd you much. do playing the worst deck in the room? Uh, so I played uh, Brandon Despia. Um, I don't think I did too terrible. It was my first time going to regionals. Um, if anything, it was just a really good experience. Um, I had a really great time, had fun, um, really enjoyed this uh, experience. It was really eye-opening and uh, just getting to experience and see how intense and how uh, how fun competitive play can really be to, to this, this level. So I look forward to doing it more in the future. Um, as far as continuing on with uh, Brandon Despia, that, that journey is probably coming to an end. You go, you know, so, put it in the grate down there, man. Yeah. So I like the deck. I really do. Um, it's just, it's, it's like it's way too fragile, um, in my opinion. So I, th I think it has some really cool things it can do, really cool interactions. Um, it's just, I don't know. I, I agree with, with what these guys were saying earlier at dinner. Um, I don't think it's the best deck. Everyone says it's the best deck. It's not personally, the best deck. Personally, I think. Personally, I think Sword Soul is the best deck right now. Um, which I did happen to beat two Sword Soul today, but that's besides the point. Um, which, that being said, I did go three and four. Um, I don't think any of my losses weren't really. Uh, it was just. I think I think I played well. It was just some of the interactions I had were. Uh, I didn't have the, uh, they had the out, and I didn't have, or they had the resource, and I just didn't. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. So um, there were a few games that I think I could, I think I could have won, but you know, it just happens. So overall, though, it was a really good time, and yeah, like they said, uh, San Antonio get better seats. So. True. Yes, also, I like to point out I got Mystic Mind four times today, four times today in eight rounds. Actually, sorry, eight times because I got Mystic Mind four of my eight rounds, both games. Konami, do something about Mystic Mind. It's a worthless card that only bad people play. Get it out of the format. And uh, Dan is Dan's coming. He's slinking his way over here. So we'll we'll get his post tournament thoughts, and we'll kind of see kind of see how it goes from there. Mr. Dan, the man. How did the tournament? Well, hold on, hold on. You're a little shorter than everybody else. Let's <laughs> let's let's get the camera down. Nice. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yeah. So um. Uh, we picked up what round four? Maybe. Like Regardless, uh, yeah. So I ended up um, playing against uh, when I had two losses. I played against uh, Therion, uh, Punk Therion, and knew this. I mean, that deck is really good. And then in addition to that, I also uh, ended up having the uh, the issue of going into game two after losing the die roll losing game one we go into game two I open okay not spectacular but then I in one game in the first game, two turns I was ash twice um, token collectored and then crowed and after that there was just no shot at me being able to come back so that was part of it uh, so that was my third my, my third loss there uh, and then I ended up playing a couple more rounds later on I ended up playing against um, the mirror did well in that matchup. Uh, I played against Despia, torched that deck. Um, probably the most broken going second hand I've ever had in, in any deck, honestly. Uh, so that was crazy. Uh, and then the last loss that I ended up playing, I played in round seven, and I ended up losing to um, a Sword Soul deck, um, where I went into time uh, in game three, and I ended up losing because he did the the one, the level six that lets you burn for 1200 when you link away. Uh, that one, yeah. I ended up not being able to survive in time because of that, because I was burned for 12. So, uh, so that was my day on the Yu-Gi-Oh side of things in terms of playing. Um, but I did really well in terms of trading and selling and doing a lot of really cool things. Um, Vendor Dan, Vendor Dan. Made a, lot of, made a decent amount of money, which I'm really happy about. Picked up some cards I was really looking forward to, which I will get right now. Because I 
He's so excited about his glad beasts. This man has a hard on for his glad beasts. It's not in a weird way, but maybe kind of in a weird way. Because you said it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. I'll continue with uh, some of my post-match stuff. I remember one of the videos got cut off, but I'm going to let Dan show off his shiny new cardboard, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so picked up this guy for Nick, trying to help out, you know, Sword Soul and whatnot. Cool. Sword Soul best deck, not really. Really I cool. Playing it. See, I really like the art. I think this archetype is amazing, like, visually. Uh, just a little bit too combo-y for me, personally. Um, I picked up... A little Baroness for myself, so I can mess around with my zombies and other things. Maybe an ABC as well with the Synchro build, which I will be testing. And then something I have been searching for for a very, very long time. Two champion pack Gladiator Beast Bestiaries. Say them in the language that's on the card. They are German, and I do not speak German. My grandma, who is fully German, will be disappointed in me. However, uh, really been waiting for these for such a long time. I'm still looking for English ones to complete the English playset, but now I have three if Bestiaries you know that English are amazing. Ones, hit me up, I'll let Dan know. Yeah, do that, please. So, yeah. Amazing. Turn up. Yeah. Uh, so, I think this, like, post. Uh, match thing got cut off earlier because we were like running back into the round. Uh, I played against Punk Adventure and it's the most powerful I've ever felt in a game. Uh, so game one, he goes, he starts making his board, he gets a zombie vampire, I nib him. He's able to keep playing through, he makes Hauk, he makes, uh, he makes Hauk, keeps Papega Ruler on field by banishing to summon it back, and then he uh, uses Hauk to summon out, what is it, Plague Spreader? Uh, on my turn, I normal summon a monster, or I, I think I think I activated like a spell card or something. I don't remember what I did. And he go he chains to summon Hot Red uh, King Calamity, so I can't activate cards or effects. So I switch my nib into defense, set one of my twins face down, and I prage, and he doesn't kill me. And then I and then I kill him on the crack back. So I got Hot King Calamity, and I won that game. And in game two, he set up a good old. Uh, Hauk into Scythe combo with a Baron and a Griffin, and I'm able to just play through. And he he still he still scythes me, but it doesn't matter. I'm able to bait out both of his negates. He he resolves Scythe, which I don't really care about. I mean, I do care about it a lot, but not in the uh, context of that match in particular. And I go battle phase. Even Liam, he wastes his entire hand trying to save or like trying to build up this board, and then it just dies, and I kill him on the crack back. So I 2-0'd, even though I got uh, locked out of my turn both game one and game two. I got locked out of my first turn. But I still won both this game, which, which was insane. So that was kind of really dope. That, uh, anyways, don't worry about it. Anyways, uh, so if you're playing those decks, don't blow your entire hand setting up your turn one board. Because if Twins can beat it, any of the other meta decks can beat it for sure. But uh, overall, tournament experience was really fun. Kind of like everybody said, uh, I stuck to my motto for the most, most of the day. And just being, uh, I wasn't trying to go X2 or X3 or XO or anything like that. My whole goal was, uh, as soon as I got that pairing, sitting across from that other person, all I had to do was just say like, okay, I just gotta beat that person across from me, and I just gotta keep doing that. Regardless if I'm XO or like X3 or X2, it doesn't matter. Uh, don't put too much unnecessary pressure on yourself saying that you have to win out. Just say, I have to beat this person that across from me. And if you keep just saying that and doing that, you're gonna get those results anyways. So. Uh, that's kind of was like my mental tip for the day was I just kept saying I had to beat the person across from me and I mean I ended X3 I should have ended X2 uh, but I just punted the last game which happens but I mean a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh is just mental game bro if someone activates Missing Mind on you the best thing you can do is just laugh and say okay I have an out somewhere and if you don't just say maybe and then waste waste their time so uh, moral of the story today uh, be mentally strong in Yu-Gi-Oh don't play Missing Mind and thanks for everyone tuning into the vlog. We appreciate it. Shout out to the homies that came. And uh, we'll see you in the next vlog. Later.